Hi, this is Kevin Purcell, and today I want to show you a new series that has be recently been released by Accordance Bible Software. Uh, it is from Broadman and Holman, and it's called the New American Commentary Studies in Bible and Theology. Uh, we sometimes call this the NAC Studies uh, for uh, as kind of a shortcut. And today I want to kind of just show off uh, the series as part of a review I'm doing over at my website at kevinpurcell.org. And um, you'll be able to find that link in the, the description below this video. But I've got Accordance opened up here. Uh, my library is opened up and I just typed in NACS to reveal all 11 of these works. You can get all 11 of them over at accordancebible.com. Uh, they go for $159. If you would just want to buy individual versions uh, or individual uh, books. Maybe you don't want all 11, you just want a few of them. The $13.90 I believe it is and $16.90 a piece. Uh, but what's the benefit of using these in accordance? Uh, first of all, uh, you know, if you just want to open them and read them, uh, my suggestion would be to go and get them on the Accordance Bible app either on iPhone or iPad or now they have the new Android version. But if you want to do a little more serious study of these, the great thing is when you open up a book in Accordance that has the Accordance tagging system, <clears throat> then you can easily uh, read these books and uh, do some, some things you can't do with, say, like a Kindle version of the book or even the paper version of it. For example, I've got uh, this volume open. It's the one on the Sermon on the Mount. And notice all of these uh, hyperlinks that they have. These are Bible verses. And if I hover over them, as you can see, uh, down in the Instant Details section, which is at the bottom of your screen, you see that those verses will pop up down there. And you can quickly see them. Now these also show up as links. And if you click on one of these links, then notice how it opens up. I've got it, the ESV uh, with uh, Strong's numbers over here. And so you can quickly open this up. Maybe do a little bit of study and research on it. This might even inspire a sermon or Bible study that you want to do on this passage as it relates to what has been covered uh, in this volume. But these, uh, these books, all 11 of these books are really interesting. Uh, the one that first caught my eye was um, the, uh, uh, the book on Luke and authorship of Hebrews. I'm going to go ahead and open that one up. I've kind of been an interest. I've been mildly interested in this topic ever since the days of my seminary time with Paige Patterson, who said that he believed Luke was the author of Hebrews. I had never heard that up to that point. Uh, before that, I remember hearing people say Paul and then Apollos. Those are some of the more popular ones. But uh, David Allen, uh, he also was a student under Patterson, and so uh, he did his doctoral dissertation on the subject, which gives him an awful lot of authority. Um, and so I found that one. That's the first one I've begun reading. I've been reading this one through and find it very interesting. Um, it's probably a little bit uh, more advanced reading than maybe, uh, you know, your average um, Christian might be interested in. But someone who's a little bit more advanced, like a pastor or a scholar, would definitely find it uh, extremely accessible. One of the things, I, another thing I like, in addition to the Bible verses that show up by either clicking it or uh, down here in the uh, instant details, is when you, when you see a footnote, it also has um, the ability to, to pop up here. Uh, click on, it'll jump to it, and then if you want to go back, you just hit this back button, and it'll jump you right back to where you were. And so it's easy to navigate. Now you've got a history of navigation, you can go back and forth as well. Um, add another thought here. Let's say I've seen these uh, different reasons um, or, or the different, um, he's showing some of his reasons why he uh, uh, studied this. And, you know, let's say I want to record my own thoughts about it. And, oh, capitalized it. Anyway, not much of a note there, but I can hit update and I'm done. Um, from now on, you'll see a little lo logo over here, a little icon that says there's a note about that, and it'll pop up. You can also search these. And then the third thing, maybe third, maybe fourth, I don't know, I've lost count. Uh, you can also, of course, highlight it. And then if you want, you can add to stack. Now, I've got my stack over here, and I've previously added something from one of the other books. 
Stacks are great ways to work. They're sort of like note cards, digital note cards. Uh, so as you're reading through this and you want to do a research paper, if you're a student, or maybe um, you're doing a Bible study on the subject and you want to uh, keep a quotation that you plan on sharing or just some information that you want to include, you can add it to that stack and then later on come back to the, this stack. Instead of going through the entire book and looking for all your highlights, uh, you can find it right here in the stack. I'm going to get rid of that uh, for now. So anyway, I think that using uh, these books inside Accordance is a great tool. Uh, you'll definitely want to go check it out. Right now, the, the uh, NAC Studies in Bible and Theology is uh, on sale, I think, until February the 12th. As I mentioned, you can get them all for $159. Uh, the individual works cost either $16.90, or some of them are a little bit less at $13.90. If you get all of them, uh, you hit the Buy Now, and you can go here and see that uh, if you wanted to, you could pay for them on a payment plan of uh, $41.50 and that includes a small a monthly fee you know for their uh, for their purpose in this case it'll be a four dollar fee why would you want to uh, to do this I think first of all the ease of use in accordance is great there's 11 really good topics really interesting uh, scholarly works here uh, that you want to check out and um, so I want to recommend these to you inside accordance you can use them here or in the mobile apps uh, and they're pretty valuable for research and study on these 11 topics. This has been Kevin Purcell with this uh, review of the New American Commentary Studies in Bible and Theology for Accordance Bible Software. Thanks for watching.